Hello, Floss Tube. Welcome back. This is Floss Tube number 37. Um, so I'm going to show you whips. Um, no finishes this time. So whips and then talk about plans and some haul. Um, I did not show you haul last time, so I have a decent amount of haul to show you. Um, if this is your first time finding me, welcome. Um, I did actually do a video last week of my Christmas and winter whips. So if you haven't seen that, um, check that out. This channel is all about cross stitch and paper crafting. So if it says floss tube, then it's cross stitch. If it says Facebook Live or something like that, then it's probably my paper crafting, my card making. Um, so welcome, I'm glad you found me. We will just get started and I will show you what I've got and I will try and remember to tell you the fabric. I, I can never seem to remember that, but I've, I'm gonna really try this time. So, um, I am a part of Whip Warriors, which is a group on Facebook, and so I have only, I'm only allowed, the the option I chose, I'm only allowed to have 23 whips that I'm working on this year at all, unless I finish one and then I can add another one, um, which has been good because it'll help me focus on some whips because I have uh, over 100 total that I've started which is why I'm doing whip parades in small pieces because I just can't do a hundred at one time. So um, with that, I decided to do some um, days of the week stitching. You know, a lot of people will do that. So I have, in case you haven't been here before, I have full coverage Fridays. So on Friday, I work on a full coverage project. Seasonal Sundays. So depending on the season, I'll work on a project that goes with that season and uh, mirror Mondays. And so I'll work on a Mirabilia on Mondays. And I'm trying to do the same one for the whole month. So the same Mira, the same full coverage and the same seasonal for, you know, one to three months, depending on um, the month it is. So my full coverage for January has been Sea Opal and I'll put a picture in of what it will look like when it's done. And uh, this is on 28 count easy guide, one over one full cross and since I was with you two weeks ago, I have done 682 stitches and I've been converting it to Royal Rose. So I did a lot of work out here. Um, and then these are just my waist threads that once I stitch over them, then I'll cut them. So it looks a little messier as you're doing it, but it really is a lot quicker. And I'm just starting to get into some of this lighter over here. So I'm really excited. So when I'm done with this video, that's what I plan on doing is sit down and actually do some stitching for a little bit before we go over, hopefully to see my grandson tonight. Okay. Okay. Mm it's always a challenge to figure out where you're going to um, put things when you're done. All right. Um, in addition to, I'm sorry, I have my notes beside me, so that's why I keep looking down. Um, in addition to those days of the week special um, projects I'm working on, then I'll um, spin a wheel for what I'm going to work on um, the rest of the week. And so for two weeks ago, it was Bord de Mer. It's French. That, that's the closest I can come. Um, and it is by Madame Le Fay. So this is what it will look like when it's all done. And this is where I am now. And really all I worked on was this border up here. So it wasn't that exciting, but it was quick. And then next time I'll get to work on something more fun. Um, I did only 305 stitches in that one this week. Okay, I was gonna try and put these back at least in their bags. I don't want to zip anything, but at least kind of get them, there we go, a little bit organized so I don't have quite such a mess when I'm done. Hopefully it won't be too noisy. I did already unzip all the bags so you wouldn't have to listen to any zipping. Okay, next was my um, seasonal, um, what I've been working on seasonally, and I already forgot to tell you what, the ocean one was on because I don't have a little slip. It is on 32 count something rain, I think. Sorry. 
I don't wear my glasses just because they glare so much. Misty Rain. I think I wore them last time though, just to try it out. Okay, then my seasonal stitch is um, Shabby Winter Calendar by Curie Buttercory. So this is the cover picture that comes with it, but it's not really an accurate picture because it doesn't show the white stitching. Um, this is on 32 count pearl gray, and I did 506 stitches on this one. So I think, if I remember right, I finished this sign and then I worked on the border and then started this next square. So I will probably not work on that this Sunday. We are going to be traveling on Sunday. And um, I'll show you, my new start is probably what I'll take in the car because it's a little smaller. Okay, that may not work to try and put these back. Okay, then my Mirabilia that I've been working on is Dressmaker's Daughter. So this is what it will look like. And I've been working on the autumn piece. And I think this is, I don't have it on the fabric like, because I've had this one for so long. But I think this is the called for 32 count milk chocolate linen. And this is where I am. So I've been working on the fall, filling in some of this. I had to rip out some on this side and put it back. Let me hold it still so you can actually see. So I'll do a little bit on the sides and then I'll um, fill in some in the middle. Those blank spots that you see now, those are where beads are going to go. So it, this one will have, like all of Mira's, will have a ton of beads um, when it's done. Okay. And next was my wheel spin for last week. And that's Aquamarine by Carolyn Manning. I just love the colors in this one. And this is on 32 count artichoke. And here's where I am. Isn't that fun? Really pretty colors. And this is just a real soft green. So it looks really nice on that. But that one will be put away now until it gets spun again. <clears throat> okay. Then the next one is my new start. So, like I said, I can only have 23 whips in the um, Whip Warriors. And I had 21 listed. So I had two spots open for new starts. And I had been seeing a lot of people working on this. And so I really wanted to start it. And I've been wanting to do, there's a whole series of these and I've been wanting to do them for a while. So this is um, Big Hearted Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. And so I started that um, last weekend, I think it was. And this is on um, 32 Count Earthen by Picture This Plus. And I did 971 stitches this week on it. The earthen is a little, a little pinker than it's showing on the camera. It's really pretty. But I've had a lot of fun working on that one. All right, and then my last whip is Big City Christmas. Um, and this is the one I work on at lunch. So I don't have any stitch counts or anything. So this is the first one. This is by um, Country Cottage Needleworks. It's Big City Christmas Department Store. And this is on 32 count country French, here I have it written down here, country French cafe mocha. And I'm using the called for floss. So I just get to work on this one about 30 minutes a day um, at work. I just take 30 minute lunch and work on that with some friends. Stitch with some friends and that's what I've been working on. Okay. That is all my whips. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about plans. 
so I have two groups that have specials going on this weekend um, and they directly conflict with each other. So I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to handle this. So um, in Whip Warriors, um, there's something called Whip Frenzy. Whip Frenzy. And so you're supposed to see um, how many different whips you can work on. You have to do at least 100 stitches on a whip for it to count. Um, and then you just see how many you can get done over the weekend. Um, so that's Whip Warriors. And then in Floss in Space, they're having, um, I don't know if they're going to do it every weekend or just periodically where they have a designer for the weekend. And then you stitch on something from that designer. Um, and that one is Heaven and Earth. And it's supposed to be just one project. So I don't know how I'm going to do both of those. I am going to work on Sea Opal today. And then we'll see how much um, time I have the rest of the weekend to work on other whips. We'll just have to see how it goes. Um, so somehow I'm going to work on both of those. And then my seasonal Sunday, um, this Sunday, I probably will still stick with Tiny Town. Like I said, we're traveling. Um, after that, I may get back to the shabby winter. And then I'll still do Mirror Monday for a dressmaker's daughter. Um, and then the wheel spin for this next week is um, from Stitch Rovia. It's called Open Your Heart. And I'll put a picture in of what the full design will look like. But this is where I'll be starting from. So it's like open your heart to new adventure, I think. Um, it's one that I am planning um, to give to my son and his girlfriend. They moved to Denver this past summer. Um, so I'm hoping to give it to them at some point. It was supposed to be a Christmas gift, and obviously that didn't happen. So sometime, hopefully before they move from Denver. Okay, so those are my plans. And then let's show you. Let me grab my pile here. I'll show you my haul. So I had a couple of things that just came in today from 123 Stitch. They're ones I had ordered a while back and I guess they've been on back order and I honestly have forgotten about them. And they sent me an email this week and said, do you still want them? And I said, sure. So this is land that I love. This is um, Primrose Cottage. So obviously I won't be doing anything with this for a while. And then I love Barbara Anna and this is Floral Dreams. That's a really pretty one. It seems kind of fall colors to me, although it's flowers, so I guess not really fall. And then um, I signed up for, from um, Crazy Annie's, there's a um, free, it's Friesen or Seasonal Ornament Club. And then the first one came um, a week or so ago. And this is the first one, Cocoa and Kisses. And so it has the fabric and then I did go ahead and get the finish. The, there's like tinsel for finishing it and then the Krynik to go with it. So that was just the first one of those. And then I have um, um, have my local needlework store, um, which is Shepherd's Needle here in Little Rock, Arkansas, um, sign me up for the Cottage Garden Samplings, their Snowman Collector Series. So I picked up number two last week, the clown. These are so bright and colorful. And I've seen the third one, but I forgot what it is now. And then they also had for me, this is the last one in this series. So this is Jardin Privé um, Winter Quaker, I think is what it translates to. And so there's one for each season and you can stitch them all together. So I have them all now. I haven't decided if I'm going to stitch them all together or not. And then I stopped at my LNS today on my way home and stocked up. There was a bunch of new Plum Street sampler that I didn't have. Um, and there was one older one that I hadn't ever purchased. So this is what I picked up today. So this is, this is the day. I love that house, the colors in it. And it says, this is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And then these ones are some brand new ones. Christmas mini moon. There's a spring moon um, that I have that was, uh, I think it was part of a retreat or something. And then you could purchase it from a certain place that I have. So I think that's kind of, and it has a hair jumping over a house. So I think it's kind of the same series. 
This is My Heart's Welcome. I really love Plum Street. Now there are some that are too sampler or too primitive for me, but for the most part, I love them. Um, Yuletide Delivery, look how fun this is. Maybe I can do this one for next year, if I finish something off my list. And then the last one from Plum Street is this Happy Morning. I saw somebody showing this on floss tube just the other day and that house or barn looks, yeah, it's a barn. Look at the design in it. It's like almost like a quilt pattern kind of. And they were doing it on the darker um, option. I'll probably do it on the lighter one. So that, those are, were all I picked up from Plum Street. And then there were a couple of blue flower ones I hadn't picked up. I think this is the last one. So Seasons of the Heart Winter. I think I have all the rest of them. So I think this is the last one. And then Holiday Card 2022. I just thought this was so cute. The little poinsettias and the bee beehives on there. So cute. And then the last thing I picked up was the latest from Little House Needlework and their petites. This is Lovable Petites. And I did go ahead and pick up fabric for it. Um, so red pair. Now I did 32 count. Uh, my LNS didn't have 30 count. So I picked up 32 count. And the other one was platinum. It called for like Mariner's. Mariner's map, but my LNS didn't have that, but we decided the platinum looked good. So there's two on each color. So that'll be fun. Again, won't be able to start them now, but even though I really would love to, they're so cute. All right, I think that is it. That's all my haul. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope to be more regular like I made it and was back in two weeks like I had planned to be. Um, and with the different projects I'm working on, hopefully it will be enough to show you. And we'll see what happens this weekend with Whip Frenzy and Heaven and Earth. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Plus I have other things I have to get done and traveling. So I will see you in a couple weeks. Bye.